Oh so my gosh, awesome. let me see that. Let's see. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my it's gosh. Like 120 degrees and she has goosebumps. Everywhere. That is crazy. Wow. What? I'm getting bad chills on. I have never heard that before. I've never heard that either. There's something. <gasps> what the freak? He's coming. Alright, let's see. Hey, okay. Let's let's cut. Dude, my camera keeps going in and out. Two. Three. Oh my Nick. They're coming. I Who's Nick? Nick. 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 It's protected. Nick. Nick. Can't. Hey. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Day at Night. Tonight we're going on a little journey. We're gonna take a little bit of a travel, a little bit of a road trip, should I say? And we're taking two guests along with us tonight. I wanted to up the energy a little bit up the excitement so we got a couple people that um uh we got to come with us and so it was a lot of fun so let me give you a little history on the settlement of southern nevada here now the mormons settled were the first the mormons were actually the first to settle the las vegas valley in 1855. now 10 years later in 1865 they started settling little areas along the muddy river and the virgin river in 1865 they settled the town of St. Thomas and St. Thomas did really well and they moved up a little bit to settle St. Joseph which is now Logandale or Overton. Then 1870s up to 1877 they settled uh, Riverside and then in 1877 they settled the town of Bunkerville and then 1880 just a little bit later the town of Mesquite was settled. All these along the Virgin and Muddy River and all these by the Mormon Church. Now St. Thomas was when they built the Hoover Dam, it was basically flooded with water, um, 30 to 50 feet of water, and they had to evacuate the whole town. The Riverside community also had to be evacuated from floods, um, the river getting too high, storms, and, it, and it just they just couldn't um, keep that settlement up. Um, so we wanted to go down and check a couple of these out. Now, what we thought might be a two ghost town road trip um, we got all we could handle here in, in just one. Tonight's episode, we hit the Riverside ghost town, and we hope to hit the other one soon, but um, we got as, all we could ask for, and we just really wanted to see if any of the early settlers were still there, if there's a belief that when there's abandoned buildings or abandoned towns, that's where evil will reside. The evil entities or negative entities, they want a home, they want a place to reside, and that's why they take up abandoned places. Um, that's a theory. I can't say that that's 100% true, but through my experience, I don't doubt it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what is a matter with you? Loser, subscribe. No, but seriously, we could use the support. Subscribe, like, hit the bell. Lord, I thank you guys so much. Check out the video. All right, guys, hey. Okay, I'm John. First of all, welcome back to Day and Night. Family, this is Family Day and Night. Subscribe. <laughs> Introduce yourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm Whitney. Subscribe. Lizzie. And Whitney's got a whole bucket of <laughs> that she's already experienced. So that is awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm excited to hear stories. We were we were actually telling stories on the way here, and we're like, man, we need to wait. We got to get camera rolling so we can like, yeah. It's good storytelling time. So yeah, Whitney, there we go. What's your experience with um, Colonel? Um, I don't know, I've just always been interested in it, and I've had a lot of things happen, and I have friends that are, like my friends, my best friend's daughter, she sees them all the time, she talks to them, she, she's really the medium. too, yeah, Wow. She, she can see what we were in our past life, like she's really spot on too with almost everything. Serious. So, she's seen a lot, and I've had a lot of things happen in places I've moved into, or... That's amazing, yeah. that's, that's crazy. And I've always been interested in it. Well, so that's awesome. Well, we also—I uh, also found like I'm pretty positive it's a skull. You should have brought part it. of a skull. You, you found a skull. It looks like there's, people keep saying it's coconut, but I know it's not because it was in a bag. It was in trash bags. Whoa! You found this at your house? Yeah, with vertebrae and mulch, like in the desert by the railroad tracks. 
It was in garbage bags. Oh seeds. my god. I know we found vertebrae there, like from a spine, and there was that is was crazy. Trash bags of mulch and like like was, was it like a blonde hair, and then there was also carpet <gasps> fiber, like a big old thing, a carpet thing that kind of like blended in. Underneath construction sh signs, shoved in underneath the little tunnels where the train goes over in the desert. It sounds like Vegas, though. Oh so, my gosh. And it looks like it was a bullet that hit the head, but it looks like it's a little person. Like, like a, like a, like a child. Oh or teen. my gosh. It doesn't look like an animal because it's too round to be an animal. I should have told you. We it. should, but yeah, I think. Like, it's not a whole episode. skull, it's like part of it, it's like this big. Okay, and then we'll call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I was that's what I'm saying. I'm like, we can yeah, use it, and then we'll call the cops. I mean, now she swears that's why there's like weird things going on in your house. Yeah, oh like, oh my gosh! Forever. Did did you notice that things were happening since then, or uh, like since she started? No, were I mean, you right in the house? Been a couple things attached to me, and there's a little girl that's constantly with me. She's just like, con like dark. Like, really? It's always with me. I don't know. Like a like she a is, shadow girl I think it's or the other me, like my other. That's crazy. That's crazy. I see what you mean. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And it was now you're the best ghost hunting team on the planet. That's right. <laughs> A freaking men. So good. I don't like I two girls, two guys. That's why you like this. And I have seen some crazy shit. We have. Happen. We have seen some crazy shit happen. Yeah, I bet. That last episode you just put on was crazy. With the whole door going open and shut. Oh! In my shop? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's where I live. You know what's funny is like my daughter, when we lived in this house in St. George where I had a lot of really weird, I had a, a lot of horrible experiences. Like I was just telling them like I was yanked to the end of my bed. I, my cupboards would fly open. My The chairs from my, um, my uh, table would fly out. My uh, children's, only my kids' pictures would be flipped upside down. It was like I, I every night I was tormented. I was like shoved. I could like we were just talking about it too. Like it felt like someone was sitting on my chest, and I get I would literally was paralyzed. Right. Couldn't talk, couldn't move. I had a horrible nightmares. I, my hair was pulled. I scratched. I mean, like it was hell living in the house. After that, we were playing in the kitchen, right in the kitchen living room because it was an apartment, small. So we were playing around one day, and she, I see her over in the corner. She's like setting up things like in a certain order, like these toys, and she's just rocking back and forth. And I'm like, what the hell is your sister doing? So I go over there and I'm like, Madison, what are you doing? She didn't hear me. All she kept saying was wicked. She was like, wicked, wicked. Like, and she's only like two and a half. Oh my, and ooh, I, I just said, got goosebumps like eyes. all over my arms. That's creepy. Like, what are you doing? And she gets up like that and she's staring straight, like solid, like won't even pay attention to me. And she just turns like that and goes running down the hallway. And I'm like, what the hell? Well, when I, and I was recording it the whole time. Now afterwards, when I went to go look at it and I added up the I add numbers all the time. I'm weird. But, um, no, but, um, it's the honeyest moment. I, add, <laughs> I added up the time of the video with the date and everything, and it all added up to 666. <gasps> and I was so freaked out by that. And I was like, oh, my gosh. oh my gosh. And then I got a new phone, but all my pictures transferred and videos transferred to the other phone. But when I go to go look at this video, it says unsupported data, and it won't let me view it again. Like, that is weird. I don't know why that I'm is so weird. I was like, I swear I'm not lying. So you're not in the house now that it... No, that was... Uh, and then once we moved out of those apartments, her bloody nose has stopped. Like, isn't that what... So when we left and I moved here, it's like it was a, like a fresh new start. I was like, I didn't have any problems. I'm like, I'm not afraid of nothing. And then I go get a hair at my ass and I started hanging out with him. And now, like, my dogs are barking in the middle of the corners. I've had... <laughs> Yes, it was. So, I had dreams. I had dreams about this Ouija board. I'm, you know how like you want to drink of water? How like when you're outside yeah. and you like you crave it? That was the weirdest experience for me. I wanted to do the Ouija board so freaking bad. I couldn't. I was itching. I literally would taste my living room. It was that bad. When he, when I knew he got one, I literally was watching out the window. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, he's almost here. Like it was the weirdest feeling. And then after we did it, it was like, John. Yeah. Tell us about your experiences. Oh, okay. Uh, senior um, year of high school, and uh, 
I'm the youngest of uh, three children. My brother was in the army, and my sister had gotten married, so um, I was the only kid in the house. It started happening about one or two o'clock in the morning where I'd wake up, uh, and I had this like awful, bad, and I'd almost call it evil, eventually felt like an evil presence. And at first it would be um, a, a heavy weight, of an oppressive feeling on my chest. Yeah. And after a while I'd be able to finally move, um, but, I, but I'd always have this bad feeling that would um, I would feel just dread. before I, I opened up my eyes. Dread, yeah, like I said. Uh, and then it kind of progressed to where uh, I started seeing uh, this like um, shadowy figure with the eyes that would look down at me, but it would have this really awful, bad feeling. And then it finally progressed where, where I would see a red face. It was just a head Ooh. right over my, my face. And it would be laughing. It finally took me praying um, just praying really hard that this thing um, would go away. The prayer part really, really helped. Uh, but the, I mean, the fear was just so overwhelming. I can, so I can, I can contest that there was some fear in John's house when we started investigating that we had to deal with, and I can contest that. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, that's a word. <laughs> you're doing, you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Yes. Oh wait, wait, were Obviously, we wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Wrong. With, with your house, <laughs> with, then the same thing happened. But uh, that was the, probably the first experience I had. Was the same thing. Sleep paralysis. Well, they say sleep paralysis. It's frightening. I say frightening. Trying to kill me. <laughs> it's paralysis. the first thing that goes through your head. Yeah. Uh, mine was crazy because I was. I, I liked watching the scary movies, but I, yeah. I was never like a slasher fan. Like I just thought those were kind of dumb. And I would just watch the Conjuring Exorcism yeah. of Emily Rose, yeah. which was the best one of all time. Yes, yes, I agree. And you guys, if you've seen that movie, everything happens at 3.33 a.m. Mm, I well, still wake up at 3, I oh, 3 or 3 after. Movie. I was sleeping. I still lived with my parents. I was in my young 20s. Crazy. And I had a dream that I was dreaming at first, and something came over me, and I was awake. And it was pushing down on me, like you guys just described, and I could not get it off me. And when I finally got it off and I saw what time it was, it was 3.33 a.m. Oh my god. In the bed, pissed in my pants. <laughs> that makes it real. That's like, hey, yeah, was, that's, that, <laughs> that's nice. crazy. Since then, I wake up at 3.33 a.m. every yeah. single night. It's funny how that happens. It's like, I'm... Side note, I told Liz this. I, I never knew what time I was born. It was at 3.33. Oh, wow. Wow, that's crazy. In the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's still, okay. Pretty that pretty doesn't weird. matter. It's still. It's still pretty weird. weird. That is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. All right, Nick, tell us where we're going. We're going... Well, we are going to one of the scariest, most haunted places in the western United States. As usual. And we really don't have any evidence that this is haunted at all, but we're going to find out. I'm excited. And it's going to be awesome! <laughs> so like and subscribe! Like and subscribe and hit the bell, and then we will bring you further notifications of when we're going to drop videos. <laughs> Weekly. Daily. Just watch. Just ring the bell. Remember, here at night goes investigating. We party. Yeah. We don't take this serious like most groups. <laughs> we're boring. We usually, we have a good time. We have to have a good time. It's the way to go. Yep. <laughs> hey, to all the spirits out here at Riverside, you're probably wondering what we're doing out here. We're just here to communicate, see who's out here, and, and give you a chance to communicate back. You can let us know you're here by touching a lot of the um, different equipment out here, but first, let's get our names. My name is Nick. I'm Libby. And we're just here, like I said, to communicate. There's a lot of ways you can show us that you're here. You can walk by this, get a little standing ovation. That's fun if you want an ovation. We have little, the little balls that you see. All you have to do is go up and touch any of those and they'll go off. If you're over here and you walk by, those lights will come on just like that. You just have to walk by it or put your hand by it. 
This antenna right here, it'll go off if you get close to it. Do the children play? Am I missing anything? Oh, can you, Winnie, can you demonstrate that? Just If you walk by that, the doorbell will go off. So there's a lot of different ways you can let us know you're here. We also have, Liz has one ready now, devices that you can use your words. Use your energy, think of words or sentences, and it will say those sentences for you. I'm going to turn mine on as well. I'm going to turn it on. What is it? Caroline, I think. Caroline? I'm going to turn it on airplane mode. I thought it said Caroline. As you can see, airplane mode, that way no interferences can get in the way. And mine has a little creepier voice, so if you want to get some kicks, you can use this one. Freak us out. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> fun. And it'll say something right away, too. This thing is, this thing is accurate. super accurate. It's crazy. Okay, it's on, too. Bad spirit, first thing. Are you saying that there's a bad spirit here with us? Move west. Wait, Wait west. which way's west? <laughs> uh, that way. Oh, okay. I thought it was that. Isn't that you came from? Going this north way, that is was that way. So then, yeah, you're right. West would be this way. Oh. What, I didn't see how we turned it. What bad spirit is here? Caroline. Yeah, the name was Caroline. Who is Caroline? Is she the bad spirit? Is there? A I think we should move the, um... Oh, that was me. That was me. Sorry, guys. 16. Is that how many spirits are here? Here, let me go put this... Oh, I don't know what this would be. Like, the wall is kind of tripping me out. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I know. There's like three I think I've seen... Yeah. I swear I saw this at, in the Blair Witch Project. Think that's a cemetery? I don't know, but something from the Blair Witch Project, though. I've never heard that word before. Are you befuddled at what's going on out here? And why we're here? Maybe no one's ever talked to us before. We're probably the first investigators to come out here. And probably the coolest, for sure. Uh, most definitely. If you're afraid, if you're afraid of us, you don't need to be. We're definitely very, very cool and very, very fun. fun. And we're actually just here to hang out and have a good time with you. That's it. Well, and we're just here to communicate. Us in any way. And nothing's allowed to go home with us. So this happens a lot of times when we go to a, a new place where no one's ever been. I know it's kind of scary and you're trying to fill us out. out. But just we try one of the one devices. Of devices. We, can't we can't see you, by the way. way. So you can try a device and we that won't even see you. when I walked past it the first time and it didn't. It didn't? Mm -mm. We don't know when the last time you've had a chance to talk to somebody is. It could be years. That's why we're here. Are you here? Scratch. Are you saying you want to scratch somebody? Who do you want to scratch? Can you give me a name of who you want to scratch? I'm Nick, Liz, Whitney. I'll tell you what, I'll let you scratch me if you want to. Yeah, we'll try it, or I kind of want to go in there, see what's in there. Let's take some stuff with us. Let's take the REM pod at least, that's easy. You like my tank top? I don't use the word tank top. So if you want to make fun of me, it's okay. <laughs> it's just really hot. <laughs> hey, as a spirit, can you feel the heat? It's actually a question I would like to know. I don't know. I don't know. That's right. Well, it's always just cold. Is that, that a, funny. Is, is that, that like, like a, a concrete, concrete block? block? I don't, yeah, it yeah. Is. It's a, but just, I just don't know what it's two or what it's under. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's four. It's all concrete. You, you keep getting chills on. Where should we go to have to get some communication? You just said most likely. No, in flaming. Oh yeah, that was on fire. The building over there. Are you talking about the one that was on fire? I heard something in there too earlier. Because I, I remember what you asked you. I was like, what And this is where it just told us to go. Mm -hmm. 
jailhouse. I want to guess the jailhouse. Correct. Correct. Because I remember I just got 1960. What if I put this device? Yeah, I got you. It doesn't, it's not too sturdy. It just says smoke. As I came into this room, there's no way. What are the chances it says smoke as I come into this burn up? Building. That's right. crazy to me. Badly. You can touch that antenna to let us know you're in there. I don't want to step on that floor. Unless that's what you were trying to get me to do. That's messed up. <laughs> What's back there? Oh, about that. There was something that said, I control this place. And I wonder if it's controlling everything else not to talk right now. That happens a lot. It's like, oh, you guys think you're going to do your little investigation here? I'll show you. I'm in control here, not you. You can be in control. You can control this place. We're not trying to take control. Hey, tell us what happened back here. This is odd. Odd structure over here. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that is. Yeah, there's a wall, but yeah. there's trees in here. Let us know you're here. This is insane. There you go. Let's look over here. It just goes on. It's just weird. A fortress. Yeah. The number four. There's four of us. There is four of us. I just got the number four, and there's four of us. Damp. It said damp. It is damp back here. What the f is back here? That's for sure a dragon spine right there. That's that's either a tree or a dragon spine. This shed? Yeah. What is, what is this, this old shed? shed? Does that say Anne? Oh, that's an Annabella. You're about to leave? No. <laughs> it says Aunt Angelina. 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 Listen for footsteps. Okay, shut up. It's funny you mention that because I thought I heard something over there. John just heard footsteps. Footsteps? I mean, John's not here. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's the fire mist. Yeah. Someone catch the mist on camera. Are we close to the river? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Can you guys hear music? So John and Liz and Whitney have been preparing to dance because they need some energy. Wait. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not happening. Yeah, not oh, it just said belittling. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's what, yeah. Doing. <laughs> what is this? Foundation. I'm blown away by some of this. Uh, that tree grew in the house like crooked. This is so weird. Like Oh, some of the stuff might have gone after it was. Yeah. Okay. It's just crazy. Oh, like it's. Oh, that's a. The uh, overgrown. Roman candle. Oh. There's a oh. Car. <laughs> uh oh. That's a car. Evil. Uh, oh, cars are awesome. coming. We probably want to like go someplace where cars can't see that we're here. <laughs> in here. So I think you should park the car for their end because. Yeah. What's in here? I haven't, I haven't seen anything that says. I haven't seen anything that says. Aim here. I haven't either. Go love yourself. Save the floor. Uh, someone with boobs? I don't know, it sounds like they're slowing down. They are? They for me. Mistake. I think we should go investigate that back house. Yeah. Must return. Do you want us to come back? Then return to wherever we just were. Dude, I love these old stone walls they used to build it. Yeah, it's, they're pretty cool. I think the river's just, right over there. 
Like, what were all these structures for really is what I'm curious about, like. And another, like, little structure in the garage type of. Out here? Yeah. You know me. How do you know me? How do you know us? Did you follow us here, or do you live here? Who's coming? I'm trying, Whoa. what did it say? Trying to possess you. <sighs> what? I'm getting bad chills left. I have never heard that before. I've never heard that either. <laughs> oh Such my gosh, response. let me see that, let's see. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my it's gosh. It's like 120 <laughs> degrees and she has goosebumps. Everywhere. That is crazy. Wow. Hold on, I gotta try and get it Oh on. my gosh, that's like the worst yeah. goosebumps that's I've That's crazy. <laughs> I keep getting them. Something, like something's affecting you. Holy cow. They like to Something, so yep, That's something's. You. Were you talking to me or somebody else? Are you talking to Whitney? Who are you, are you trying to possess me? That's yeah. 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 I said, oh yeah. my gosh. Are you trying to possess, are, are you trying to attach yourself to Whitney? Why? Oh my gosh, look at. <laughs> okay. No crap. Infrared. Oh my gosh, really? It's like impossible to get this kind of goosebumps in 120 yeah, degrees. Yeah, no kidding. Everywhere. My legs Do you realize if you attach to Whitney, I'm going to get rid of you? Do you realize that? It said it, it, it implies. What are you implying? That you're getting right. Kill her. You lived here. What? Were you a killer? Oh, I just got the wit. This is the creepiest building ever. Both this, of them. This is the back one that I wanted to go to. Look at that. Look how creepy that is. Looks like Amityville Horror. Yeah, it's a, that's the one I wanted to go to. With those in the back hidden. Let's go. Okay, oh my God. Let's go before we have this. We lose. Negative. Is there something negative there? You see her goosebumps? You feeling all right? Uh, Not so much. Dad on my feet. Yep. It looks like a flower, but. Is that sunflower? Yeah, that's what it it's a sunflower that's a nymph. Closet. Go in that closet, Liz. <laughs> Liz, you probably should not go in that closet. Is there a closet in there? There was, right? Shut the door. It said shut the door. Right when you were leaving. What's your message? You got me out here by myself. What's your message? The girls are gone. <laughs> Evil is coming. You keep saying that. Who's coming specifically? Eight. Eight what? Huh. We're gonna go back into the little uh, town square over here. It's nice checking out your garden, though. Yeah, it's it's always a gamble going to someplace new, especially traveling out to it. It's kind of. Yeah. How can that be fresh? Yeah, now that the guys are gone, why don't you talk to us? It was like a response really quick. Right. Are you here now? 
says it's uncertain. Are you uncertain? About talking to us? Or... What's the matter? I need the chills again. Really bad. I know something's here. Yeah. There's another spot right there. Yeah. What the fuck? Did you hear it with you? An M? Dude, I don't know. Um, do you want to record that? Yeah, I am. Because okay. that almost looks like... It looks like it kind of trails off over here. Yeah, it looks like a... Yeah. Like that looks like an yeah. I was gonna say it looks like an animal, not a. That looks like a big old hoof. Yeah. Well, I think um, someone said they had a cow and. Come on, move a cat ball, set off I'm something. Come on, knock something over. There's give Whitney chills there. again. If you're here, give me some chills. You're gonna begin to do that? You're gonna begin to. There I go. Really? Yeah. No way. <gasps> What's going on, on my chest? That is crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got really bad chills right now. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's see what it's just. It's a group of us. Okay, There's so a group of you. Or spirits or a group of us. I think we would have heard it. That's bizarre though, like okay, who else? what? What do you what do you think of when you think of her? A goat or a devil? Yeah. Well, you're in the thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll just do this this and we'll get out of here. Mm-mm. Oh, that wants to talk. It's crazy, it is, like that's right. The further we got in the back, though. I know that that's yeah. where it felt creepier. Is like yeah, near yeah. the back. Right here, I feel fine. Maybe we ditch the man in the back that way. Yeah. All right, I'm good. Let's see. Do you want to grab it? I don't have any hands left. <laughs> we well, we could be friends. Maybe we're friends. This pretty bizarre little rundown old town should just be. It's dead. It said above. Abandoned here. Whoa. That's crazy. That was definitely the issue. As soon as I got batteries, it works great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ghost here. There's something. <gasps> no way. That's. Th is that. Fuck. That's the motion sensor. Yeah. Oh What's my gosh. Because some, something's just walked by it. Who's here with us? Can you tell us your name? Tell us why you're here. Did you live here? Oh, I heard that. It it's not hitting me, is it? It's not hitting us, is it? So. Mm, maybe. Let's. Last name Williams? <laughs> Movie. <laughs> yeah, those are not like human prints. Those are like hooves. Yeah. There's something deep. I don't know where they go, though. They go over there. Or over there. I think. It's kind of hard to track it. A lot of those look like shoes, but, and then these are like, it's an animal going this way. Like, I can see yeah, it's the river. Dude, how about her juice on? That is so legit, as hot as it is out here. Like, I think we're trying to get back to the hill, and my kids are telling you so much wrong. What you 
girls doing? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Someone left it there. It just turned on. Cool. Well, maybe they took for gold. Yeah, do your thing. Maybe it's kind of weird. I was wondering why they left this flashlight on the ground. But anyways, my, my camera's been pointed there the entire time, so. What did you say? Horrible. Something horrible happened to you right here? Oh, I don't know. It's in my butt. I don't know what it said. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Say it's the last word. Two men here. Oh, okay. two men here again. It'd be the top one. T oh, top. What? Should we do Estes out there? Yeah. Better hurry and talk to us. The guys are coming. Oh. <laughs> I just said, I said, you better hurry and talk to us. The guys are coming in. It goes, nope. Let's do something. Okay. Oh my gosh, How come that no, we're not going to stop the camera. Absolutely not. Are you guys hearing this? Is that you guys or no? And then it set that off? No way. Medication? Close it, medication. Here, get out of here. Dude, we both had like head to toe body chills like it, it's been pretty freaking crazy back here just right there she she's had some spot-on feelings in this area like and back just back through here it's just oh and it said investigate and that told to turn off the camera yeah stop the camera whatever's back here Hide. It it didn't want to talk to you. you. Um, it wants to talk to us and not you boys, is what it said. Are you gonna hide now that he's here? Now that Nick's here? What I was gonna say is, whatever's talking, come with us over here. You can talk to Whitney through the headphones. It was weird. We had a there was a light that was full on hitting us right here. It was, it was bright. Or wait, where was yeah, it? It was sitting on the window. Oh, it was right here. Yeah, and it was bright. Like it was had to have been. Once we got over right there. Wait, right here. It had to have been right here. But there. Was no light there. there Ever. There, was two there had to have been a light right there here. Was. There ha there was not I have it on video. I know. I'm telling you. I know, but this is crazy. It's crazy. I'm like floored. What I know is what has been giving Whitney goosebumps all night? Or who? Help me. What What do you need help with? Jules. You got Jules around here? What attracted you to Whitney? <laughs> How come you wanted to speak to the girls when John and I left? Yeah, why did you want us alone? Who are we speaking with? Can you give us a name? You. Call. Yeah, we did. We did call. Did call. Yeah, but who, who are we talking to? Like, who, what's your name? Video. Video. Do you like us? Do you like that we're here? The girls. Yeah. What about them? Why? Oh. Like, like, Oh, why are girls here? They wanted to meet you. Do these bugs bother you too? How is it possible that Whitney gets goosebumps in a hundred thousand degree weather? Eighteen uh, hundreds, guys. I don't know if it said wit or we. We're gonna go with wit. Yeah, wit. How did I you get? She said I got goosebumps and I was asking her how they got goosebumps. She's like, that's how she got them. This thing keeps like water. Focusing. It keeps going in and out, focusing. Like, I don't. I oh, it might be the bus, though. Oh, that was how bad. did you give Whitney such bad goosebumps? And why? Okay, you're right. It's a car. Yeah, but no, because there's no bugs. What about, what about my car? 
Do you like that we're here? Do you trust us now? Okay. I think I think you're starting to get used to us, and you're having more fun with us now. No, I know, but before it was just off. It was standing off. How many spirits stay here? Hmm. Why were you giving Whitney goosebumps? What do? You, why do you like Whitney? Get her. Get her. You want to get Whitney? How come? If you want to get her, I'm going to get her out of here. I'm going to get her out of this because you to what? told me you want to get her. You. She stopped there for a minute and just completely went silent. There was just something I didn't like, so I wanted to pull you out of it. Nick always gets the best Estes. Okay. So. Hello. Hi. What do you want with me? What'd that say? I'm here. What's your name? Mm. Okay. What? Well, what? We'll talk now. It's about time you talk. We've been waiting for you all night. Fifty. Fifty what? Are there fifty people 50 here? Fifty of us. Oh, that's a lot. Dang. Are you all trying to get me? Are you after Whitney? Talk now. We are talking. I'm with Nick. Sorry. He's fucking focus on me. He won't let... He's a big guy? <laughs> Protected. He is. Who are you protecting? He did. He did what? Nick and Liz. No way. That was like clear as day. There's something back here. Everybody. Everybody scares you? He's coming. Who's he? That is coming. Who's coming? I'm a friend. You're. Are you protecting us from this bad guy? Completely went off and then I just said, going with you. You're leaving with us? Hate him. You hate him. You want to leave with us? Dark. He's a dark spirit? He comes for, at night. For who? For who does he come for at night? Coming soon. We should go. Ugh. Hop on. Yeah, definitely. Baby. What time is it? Look at the time. So we heard there's a whistling. There's a whistling noise over there. Yeah, he said he's coming soon. He's coming we can't for us. stay. We have to go, it said. He's coming for us, he's bad. He's coming soon. Now. Right. now. I just got goosebumps all over my Maybe body. Take the message to yeah. Is he coming for me or us? So Nick, you okay? Everybody. He's coming for us, Nick. Me too. Right. Okay, so, my I got goosebumps on. all over my body right now. This is crazy. Nick, let's wrap it, wrap it up. Nick's fine. Many deaths. Many deaths? Yes. Yeah, you heard that. A lot of deaths here. Yeah. You saw the shadow? No. Shadow. Oh my fucking god, see? What the freak? He's coming. All right, let's stay. Okay. Let's let's cut. Dude, section. my camera keeps going in and out. Two. Three. Oh my God. Nick. Who's Nick? Nick. Nick. It's protected. Nick. Nick. Can't. Hey. 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 Dude, we need to stop. Dude, we're let let's let's just call it. Let's just call it, dude. Whatever's coming is coming. I, okay. Yeah, no. Well, every time I said I saw shadow, you said shadow. It's just saying random stuff. You said no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not, dude. Right. I. Okay. We're we're done. We're done, dude. There we've got whistling over here. Is every everything has like you were not answering a question, but you were talking. And every time I said stuff something, was also being repeated on here. Okay, so I think you might have been. Yes, every time she said something, you would repeat it back.
no shot. Every freaking time. No, it was like it was like a countdown. It was like three or two, three. It's like said two, three. I remember that. Yeah. It, it's so funny. I always think I'm saying nothing. Mm, no, no, that was pretty crazy. Huh? Did you? Mm-hmm. Right when we are saying his name over and over. I got this one. That's crazy. Like, so, like, like something was affecting you. Like, yeah. That's probably best that that's our cue to go. If there's no one beside you when your soul empires.